since you guys gave such a wonderful reception to my gameplay of the demo for Tales of the Shire, I thought I'm going to test the waters a little bit by playing another game and bringing you all along with me. But full disclosure, this game is called Wildflowers. I've been playing it for the probably at least a year. <laughs> um, I have finished the main narrative of the game and now I'm just going around having fun. So if you're interested in playing Wildflowers, which is a cozy game uh, where you can, it's also farm sim and crafting and building relationships with locals. So if that sounds like something that you'd like to play, you don't want spoilers, then don't watch any further. But if you don't mind spoilers, <laughs> then go ahead and join me and I'll show you what my farm looks like and why I enjoy, enjoy this game. So first I'm going to shrink myself, if I can. Let's put me in my place, in the corner. All right, and get to the game. Okay, that's right. So I, I was actually just at the spring fling. So here I am. My name's Tara. You don't get to choose your name. Uh, but this is the town. These are all the town folk. It looks overwhelming right now, but that's because, uh, like I said, I've already like played the game long enough. I could probably tell you every single one of these characters' names and their biographies. <laughs> Um, so, I've just finished the Spring Fling, which was like an Easter or May Day festival. And it's going to end as soon as I leave this area. So I'm going to leave the area and go back to my farm so you can see my farm. This is the main town. So the premise of this game is that your grandmother wasn't doing well. and you. Am I sure I'm done with the Spring Fling? Yeah. Cool. So the premise is that my grandmother wasn't doing well and I came to help her out. This was her house. And unbeknownst to me, my grandmother was a witch and I am a witch. And that's what sold me on this game. It said you garden by day and you're a witch by night. And I love both those things. This is my basement where I have all my brews. Let's see, what was I brewing? I think that's a... Not a grow faster potion. I think that's a. Oh no, that is. That's a grow faster potion. Grow even more faster. What's this? Gold essence. What should I brew next? Okay, this. Okay, bumper harvest. Running a little low on those flowers. Anemone flowers. I think I'm gonna hold off on that. Um, so again, I've been playing this game for ages. And when you first start, you don't have access to all of these things. Um, for example, the shed is much smaller when you first start playing. Just tanning some hides here, don't mind me. Oh, mushroom leather, sure. My candle is ready. This is my crafting area. Uh, so when you first start, this shed is a lot smaller and I've been able to upgrade grade it. Over here, there are silkworms producing silk. This is my paper press, right there. This is my flower bench where I can make bouquets and all kinds of fun things. That is my juicer. This is my candle maker, my sewing machine where I can make all kinds of outfits. And so I can make her clothes and I can sell clothes. Uh, this is two tan hides. So I do have livestock. If I wanted to, I could slaughter them. I don't do that because I'm too attached to even my digital animals, <laughs> but you could. Uh, but you could also make mushroom leather and fish leather. Uh, these are dyeing buckets. I'm not sure why I have quite so many other than I went through a phase of like making all of these clothes to sell for money. But as you can see at the top right, I'm doing okay. I've got about 18 thou. It's pretty good. <laughs> Wish I had that in real life. And then, oh, this is to make silk and cloth and this is to make glass and this is to make like fermented things like for some reason you can make cheese in it but you can also make wine and beer and you already saw my house 
Um, you could do a lot of cooking. I don't tend to do that much cooking. The cooking gives you energy and you can gift it to people. I'm just less interested in that for this game. So here's my the little plot that you first start off with. So here I'm making some special soil in the compost bin. Here's my honey. That little bar is showing how full it is and uh, you will make more honey faster if you have flowers. But over here I've got flowers interspersed with fruit trees. So I have uh, a lemon tree, an olive tree, a lime tree, that's a well where I can get some more water. So that little exclamation mark means that the crop is ready to be harvested. The reason I haven't picked these tulips yet, which by the way, I wonder if I can even get blue tulips in real life. I've never seen it. It would be really cool to grow blue tulips. Um, so I'm leaving them there for the bees to make more honey. This is a mulberry, a pomegranate, and an apple. And then these, I think, are snowdrops? Um, this part of the game is these little robots you see going by. They're called whirly gigs. To me, this is the part that, again, you can't get to till toward the end. It feels a little, I want to say, anachronistic, but it's just kind of against the aesthetics of Cottagecore a little bit. Uh, so that's why I'm not... I have them because then I don't have to go fishing and I don't have to be feeding my animals and watering my garden. But at the same time, I acknowledge that they're a little unsightly and they don't quite fit the cottage core aesthetic. Um, so eventually I was able to grow this bigger garden and I was actually growing these flowers to be able to make some bouquets. And over here I have some wheat, some potatoes, apple trees, orange, lemon and mulberry, more compost ready. Honey's also almost ready. I'm not gonna har- well, I'll show you how to harvest. It's pretty easy. You just click a button. There we have them. And if I want to sow some more crops, uh, the crops at the top, the seed packets rather, are all ones that I have available to plant with this season, which is spring. All of these ones below are out of season. So if I want to grow those, I can't grow them outside. I have to grow them in a uh, hothouse. So there, I just put some cauliflower in. So this... Uh-oh, I'll get in trouble if I don't go to bed on time. This is my greenhouse, so I've got strawberries, cotton, sunflowers, marigolds, tiger lilies. More cotton, because I can use the cotton to make clothes. Cabbage, primrose. And then over here is my newest addition, and this is... It's also a greenhouse, but the point is to grow things to collect their seeds so that I don't have to buy seeds. So what am I low on? It's potatoes. Yeah, I could get some more potato seeds. Here's my little patch of forest by the house. This, it turns out, is a maple tree. Um, you can fell trees for lumber to use to make paper. So I learned late that I probably shouldn't have felled so many of the maroon topped trees because those <laughs> produce uh, maple syrup. Okay, I will show you my animals tomorrow. I have to make her go to bed because if she goes to bed Is late- Is it time for bed? Yeah, because if she goes to bed late, she wakes up sick. <sighs> and apparently she doesn't need blankets. She just lies on her hard looking bed and goes to sleep. I hope the audio is okay. This mic isn't quite as powerful as my real mic. Uh, but I bought this headset because so many of you were requesting me to post some gaming videos. And I thought... This Morning, would make it Francis! Easier. Oh. Oh. Uh, what's up? Angus's ears, that's what. Huh? We woke up this morning and... Uh, just follow me. Uh-oh. Angus is his husband. 
Tara? Please tell me you can explain what's happening. I wish I could, Angus, but this is a new one for me. They've all become rabbits? <gasps> uh, does, does anyone else have these bunny ears? Nope. It's just the three of us. And we only have one thing in common. Natalia, I can assure you that no one in the coven did this to you as retaliation for the trials last year. Yeah, come on, Natalia. Lena and Francis wouldn't have done this to their own husbands. We'll get These to the bottom smiling, of this, sorry. believe me. Tara, can you talk to the townspeople and the residents of Ravenwood Hollow to find out if anyone has seen anything unusual? I'll hop right to it. Good one. And in the meantime, I think I have a potion recipe that should return these three to their usual selves. I'll see if I can find it. Speak to the residents of Fairhaven and Ravenwood Hollow to see if they saw anything strange. So this is the type of quest you get. Okay, wait, exclamation mark. Oh, so, okay. So I'm gonna have, this is a very social game. And that's why I said I could like tell you everything about the characters here. I actually found myself thinking about them when I wasn't playing and wondering how they were doing. Um, so Amira, you could see the little blue hearts at the bottom. That shows how strong your relationship is. So it's not quite as strong with her as it is with some of the other characters. She's the local doctor. Tara, I'll have that potion recipe for you as soon as I can. I just want to make sure I'm not forgetting a key ingredient. Fair enough. Uh, but before I start on this quest... So this is why the game's still fun to play after you've finished the main storyline. There's still a lot to do. Uh, I want to show you my, my barn. Ooh, cotton's ready to be picked. Oh, this is my kitty. She's really sweet. Her name's Cleocatra. And I can pet her. Hey there, kitty! <laughs> Oh my gosh, she's so cute. She gave me a bone and cat fur. And I could turn into her and run around as her if I want, but I'm not going to do that right now. But you see how she's got three pink hearts? It's because we're besties. So this town is Fairhaven. Ravenwood Hollow that she mentioned is the land of the Fae. Here's my chickens. What's her name? This is Waddles. One of them I'm not all the way yet with. Chicken Little. Henrietta. Plucker. So they give you a populated list of names you can choose from. Who's this one? Feathers. Okay, so this robot is feeding them and collecting their goods. So you can see it's got eggs, milk wool, and then the rest is feed, but I'm going to leave it with the robot for now. So here's Marshmallow. Oh, excuse me. Oh my gosh, this is Snowflake. My new lamb. Gotta pet her to get the loves up. And it's pretty demented. Like, the more you pet them and have a relationship with them, I think the higher price you get for them at the butcher. I don't understand that part. This is Luna. Sorry, it's been a while since I've played. Now I'm afraid to say any of their names. Rosie. I do know the black sheep is Blackberry. And then, who's this cat? I forgot. Clarabelle. But I'm pretty sure I still have a lamb name or a sheep named Snowflake. Maybe her? She's Snowflake. I already did it. Marshmallow. That's Marshmallow. That's Marshmallow. <laughs> so this is their barn, where they come to sleep. Unfortunately, you can't really interact with the mice. And this is their field, where they graze. What was that? Oh, piece of wood. Why are there just random pieces of wood? Ah. 
So, I will show you Ravenwood Hollow. Look at the kitty moving around! Oh, she's so cute. She reminds me of Fluffers. Okay. Notice board? Whoa, what's that? I need the hardest gem available for a drilling project. Nothing short of a diamond will do. And no, Perry won't be like that last time. So the notice boards are where you can pick up tasks. Okay, this is... This is where it gets weird. Um, I, like, have a relationship with a man in town named Kai. But I actually have a crush on him. He's a werewolf. So it turns out there is something more humiliating than being turned into a werewolf every night. Who would have guessed? I heard Violet open a new boutique in town, so I stopped by to see if she might offer tailoring services. But she's overwhelmed with orders for her new designs already. I might be able to help. You need something hemmed? Well, this is awkward, but my extended period of transformation has ruined the backs of my favorite trousers. I was hoping Violet could repair them now that I'm spending less time in werewolf form. I've got a sewing machine. I could fix them for you. Really? You would do that? This is that would be it. wonderful. It's so hard to be smartly dressed and parfait. Unless you're Perry. Yeah, unless you're Perry. This, this is my in. If I fix his pants, he might take a shine to me. Repair Wesley's trousers at the sewing machine. Look at his pants. Patched trousers can now be crafted. Okay, cool. Um, so this is one of my witch friends. I think she's actually my bestie, Violet. I don't mind traveling in the body of my familiar, but I would not be down for bunny ears. They would totally ruin my hair. <laughs> Wait, he's gonna be like, where are my pants, yo? What can I buy from him? Special parchment. Yeah, so he loves books. That's part of why I like him. This is like a really crazy little goblin. Zephyr! <laughs> Any chance you've been tinkering with a new gadget that may have, I don't know, um, given three people bunny ears? What? Nah, the only thing I was doing the night of the spring fling was eating my weight in those hot cross buns. Mm. I was so stuffed, I barely had energy to zap myself home. Oh yeah. I need the hardest gem available for a drilling project. Oh, we already read that. Oh, this'll get my gears turning. You see my little progress bar at the top? Okay, so I'm gonna go talk to Perry. She could be hot and cold. She's really old. There she is. Ah, Witzling. You're hoping I might shed some light on this bunny ear enchantment, yes? Well, do you know anything? I do not. This sort of mischief can usually be traced back to Ariel, but he says he's innocent. And this time I believe him. What does she have for sale? Toadstool. Toadstool. Mint. Coriander. I'm buying these things. Let's see. I don't need more pikes. Mistletoe. I have not been able to find mistletoe in the wild yet. Mistle, witchweed, and heather. I tend to buy those herbs from her when I can, just because it can be really hit and miss when you're foraging and you need them for a lot of spells and potions. Okay, this is Ariel. He's their resident uh, prankster. No, we already talked, Violet. If you'll notice, his feet are on backward. Oh, don't give me that look, Dara. I heard all about this bunny ear business and I had nothing to do with it. Really? No way. It's an honor to be gifted with the ability to hear like one of our rabbit friends. Few humans are worthy of it. Fair enough. So, this is the land of the Fae. It's a little gloomy, I guess, because it's in behind a waterfall. That's how they stay hidden. And 
then I can also show you. There's my little robot fishing for me. Ah, here's some things I can forage. Mushroom, thistle. So you can also go mining. This is the mine that apparently I just own because it's on my property. <laughs> and I can collect these mushrooms and it does use up your strength. What did I get? Some iron ore. Copper ore. More stones. See, usually I have a spell that makes small objects come to me and I can be lazy and I don't actually have to click. I can dig up the mud, or clay rather. These things look really cool, these gems, but I can't actually do anything with them, so that part's frustrating. These chests were part of the main storyline, unlocking them and seeing what was inside. So I'm going to use my magic broom, fly... Actually, I don't have to do that. I'll just show you walking. She's going really slow. I need to use my speed up potion. Where is my potion? Okay, wait, that's to do. Where's my inventory? Here we go. Okay. Here we go. The time for walking slow is done. Quicken my feet and make me run. And I'm also going to do a summon small objects. Objects far and objects near. Get up and fly from there to here. And I'm also going to change her out of her fancy clothes. Let's see. That's pretty cute. That's like kind of how I dress. So I will show you with the summon objects. All I have to do is walk by and I suck them up. I can't change her hair yet, but I saw that they did an update with a hairdresser. I think I just haven't unlocked that yet. So now I'm going up into the mountains. Looks like some rocks I can pick up. All these trees I could cut down, but and they will regrow. Like that one was one I cut down, it's regrowing. Okay, let's see what's in this hole. Money. Oops, don't cut down the baby tree. More money. Wow, it's already 8.20. The day's going by fast. This is an onsen where you can go and soak in like the hot springs and get some of your... Like health restored? Oh, she lives up here. She's a meteorologist. I thought about sending some samples of fur from Natalia's ear to my friend who's a zoologist, but just thinking about how to explain this to him gave me a headache. This is really far out of my area of expertise, I'm afraid. So I had a really awkward interaction with her where she invited me, said she'd like to get to know me better and invited me out to dinner with, and asked if I'd be interested in going out to dinner with her. And I said, sure. And then she was like, that's great. I'm going to pick somewhere really romantic. And I was like, oh, I didn't realize that saying I'd like to get to know you better meant romance. So I unintentionally had to make her sad. By then we went out to dinner and I was like, Sorry to see you as a friend. And she was pretty bummed out. And then I went and got together with this surfer dude. Not him, I'll show you him in a minute. Damon, you know what I'm going to ask. It wasn't me this time, I swear. I mean, I kind of wish it was. Talk about raising the prank bar. I'm never going to be able to top this one. So Damon's parents are from South Africa. This is my boyfriend. Oh, this whole bunny ear thing is kind of a bummer, huh? Like just when everything on the island was starting to feel chill. I hope nothing else like this happens. My balance on my board would be totally out of whack if I suddenly got a tail or something. <laughs> so, uh, so anyway, yeah, Damon's parents are from South Africa and he runs a local bar. Kai is our local surfer from Hawaii. 
and apparently my character's uh, boyfriend, uh, they really push you to go fast in this game because we just started dating coconut, shell, seaweed. And suddenly someone was like, do you guys want to get married? Do you want to make wedding rings? And I'm like, no. I'm secretly in love with Wesley. I was just biding my time with Kai. Don't read too much into that, okay? This is a video game. <laughs> okay, so now I just went along the beach to town. There's Damon's bar. Closed. Because I just saw him. There's the butcher shop, the grocery store. The Kai runs this little stand. And then there's a fish stand, a diner. Everything's closed because it's night. Doctor's office that is never open when you need it. This caused a whole stir. This is this religious group that came in. Oh wait, I can have free soup. And a graveyard. Oh dear. Um, hmm. I've missed watering something. One of my plants. I'm gonna have to get home and do it first thing in the morning. I was just playing with the settings and saw that you can make a day more relaxed. And maybe that's what I should be doing while Especially while I'm playing. While Time I'm for talking. bed! Yes, go to bed. You don't want to get sick. <sighs> when she gets sick, she wakes up at 11, and her energy bar is like half of what it should be. Okay, there's a lot I need to harvest at home. Oh my gosh, my work is piling up. <sighs> it's hard to play detective. Okay, before it gets longer, I'm going to show you the forest. Before it gets longer, before I delay things even more. So the forest is literally just outside of the house. It's a great place to forage things. There is, I believe, a lake? Yeah, I think it's supposed to be a lake, not a river. Toadstools! Mandrake! This is where this really cool guy named Shelby lives. And this is where our secret coven meets. Ooh, moonflowers. They look ready to bloom. Someone destroyed this plant. Someone mean. I keep waiting for it to regrow. This is our cauldron. This is where, like, we meet. And this is how you get into the gloaming. Um, so, the gloaming is like a realm of the Fae, but it's also different than Ravenwood Hollow. Actually, now that I'm trying to explain it, it's a little odd. Okay, these are my flowers. I need to water them. I hope those ones right there aren't dead. It has wilted. Oh, no, I didn't. I could do a reverse. Oh, no. oh, the plant's dead because of the tour. I was giving you... That's right, you should feel guilty. It's your fault. My plants are dead. I'm just kidding. I don't have any more reverse time spells. Maybe I can get home and make one. Okay, I'm gonna try to get home and make a reverse time spell. It didn't help that I was running around so slowly. Okay, get on your broomstick. Get home. I don't even know if I have the right ingredients for this spell. Get down in your basement, you troll. Get down in there. Go to your desk. That's right, you're a troll. Okay, reverse time spell. I do. I'm doing four just in case. Alright, now I'm coming back. See, once you get unlock the flying broom, it's a lot faster to travel. But you can see those potions up on the top left, you use up one of those. So I have 160 left every time you use your 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 broom. I hope I'm explaining this properly. It's a really fun game. I like it because I can play for like an hour. Or I can play for like 15 minutes. Reverse time. Save my flowers. It's a special magic power. them too. Because it takes several days in the game to actually play this game. So Does this one need water? No. Okay. So time stops while you're in here. Look at this little creature. 
to check the nanny cam to make sure my puppy didn't wake up. Puppy, she's a grown-up doggy. Miss Jeff, you've seen her in Happy Hobbit. No, she's still taking her nap. Okay, whew. That was a close one. But see that purple bar on the top left? Well, that's my magic. So, I need to donate... Donate some Moonflower to replenish the magic. Then I might donate some Wolfsbane. And I might donate... See, certain things actually replenish the magic way more than others. The pine cones don't really, but I'm sacrificing them because have a lot. Actually, I'm going to go back into the gloaming. Because I just remembered... There's something I can harvest in here. This! Woolweed. It's actually really important to have for a lot of spells. <coughs> Devil snare! Devil snare! So these big green things are beanstalks that you grow. Okay, so I'm gonna go fishing. Because there's this magical type of fish in here called a complifish, fish. And you can use it to make... <laughs> this type of powder that so that when you're crafting you just instantaneously get the thing that you're crafting you don't have to wait whatever time it is yeah Cut one fish Every once in a while, you'll get a recipe in a bottle. Oh, yeah. But like I said, I'm not super into the cooking part, so it's not as exciting to me. Okay. There's another fishing spot right here. So these replenish daily. Oh, there's the recipe in a bottle. I don't really want the recipe, though. It's going to make me get it. Probably. Yep. I guess we'll see what it is. I found something. A recipe? Chicken fricassee? I'm not killing my chickens to make a fricassee. So see, every time she uses her wand, her magic bar goes down a little. That's the wolf's bane. I like to have a lot on stock in stock just in case I can... Uh, you know, win Wesley to my side. The werewolf. But, um... Also, when you do magical crafting, like making spells, it lowers your magic bar. So, I'm just gonna... It's called the Wellspring. Replenish the Wellspring a little. That's probably enough for right now. And then, so the moonflower I do want to harvest, but I can only harvest that at night. Ooh, a mandrake. Okay, I gotta get back. I know I'm supposed to be being a detective. How you doing, Parker? Uh, see anything weird the night before you got the bunny ears? No, it was a pretty typical spring fling. Kids did the maypole dance, they made dyed eggs with Lena, I even ate one of them. Tasted just like a regular egg. I wish I had something more useful to offer you. I really do. It was the egg. Idiot. Here's the school. Let me go harass the kids. This is that man Parker who I just talked to. This is one of his sons. He's got twins. Finn, you wouldn't know anything about bunny ears on Angus, Natalia, and Parker, would you? Please. You think I would prank my own dad like that? Maybe. You did freeze his pants last winter. Yeah, but that was funny. I mean, this is also funny. <laughs> but mom's already given me the third degree. It wasn't me. Okay, let's ask his sister, Emmy. So, about the folks in town with bunny ears. I know my brother and I have, shall we say, a reputation for pulling pranks. We shall. But come on, Miss Tara. You gotta know this one is way above our pay grade. I Emmy, mean, I am begging you. Put down the business books and, like, 
play a video game sometimes? Oh, I do. I'm a level 56 in Juice Stand Tycoon. Oops. Do you know how Natalia and the others got bunny ears, Juliet? No, and if I did know who did it, I wouldn't rat them out. Giva was teaching us the other day about how the word karma is always used incorrectly. So, I'll just say this. She had it coming. They all did. So you guys don't know the backstory, but all of those people were involved in something quite ugly earlier. Check in with as many people as you can, Tara. Someone must have seen something. Send a little note to my Angus. Have it say, My cariño. You could make any place feel like home. Sure. Guess I already have one in my pocket. Ooh, look at those big goods. So, Angus, did you do or see anything unusual the night before you woke up with the bunny ears? No! I just went to the spring fling like everybody else. I had some of my hot cross buns, some of Sophia's soup, one of those dyed eggs. Wait. You ate one of the dyed eggs? Why not? Francis is always on my case to eat more protein. I think we're getting closer. Look at that blue cake with the rainbow. It looks so good. Okay, while I'm at it, I'll just show you. I'm sure their market is open right now. Okay, bar is still closed. Butcher shop is closed. Here's the grocery store. I have to admit, I'm surprised by how well Parker's taking this. He even read the kids' Peter Rabbit last night. He's got a sense of humor, that's for sure. So Parker's her husband. <gasps> My boyfriend's shop is closed, and Bruno's shop is closed. How about the diner? Man, everything's closed today. Can't show you much. Okay, so on your way out of town is the blacksmith shop where Natalia works. Did you see anything strange the night before the ears appeared, Natalia? Nope. Seemed like any other fling. Maypole, hot cross buns. I did grab some of the lighter dyed eggs the kids didn't want. Thought I could jazz them up a bit and make pasanki, but I ended up eating them when I was craving a midnight snack. Well, all signs are pointing to, toward those dried eggs. Ooh, my mulberries are ready to harvest. What else? Lemons. Thankfully, they won't rot. Like, if they're ready to harvest and I'm not ready to pick them yet, like right now, that was until I started playing, they're not gonna rot. Okay, give me the honey. Ooh, and beeswax. Who are you? Aren't you supposed to be working, a little robot slave? Fishy. <gasps> fishy. Give me all your fish. Look at all those fish Fishy caught. Okay, Fishy needs bait to fish. Fishy needs a gemstone for seven days. Hey, fishy. Go fish. Ah, uh, you don't have any bait to fish with. Here, you can have my bait. It's not much. I'll have to get you more when Bruno's shack opens up. Apple. I guess I have two apple trees over here. I don't need that many apples. Lemon is something I've been panicking about lately because I need it to make the tanning solution to make my leather because again I was getting obsessed with making clothes. Okay, let me harvest the wheat. Potato. I like how you harvest the potatoes while they have flowers. That's not how it works in real life. Okay, grow some carrots. Sure, some more wheat. Wait, why not? Collect the honey. How much honey's in there after I collect it? 
weird. I wonder why it's like at that baseline all the time. Whoa, there's a lot going on in here. Okay, tiger lilies. What should I grow next? How about some corn? Grow some corn. Give me my cotton. Primrose. They're so pretty! I'm gonna grow some more just because they're pretty. Well, there's a bunch of leaves falling off the tree out my window. It's been so warm, it's hard to remember that it's autumn. We just had a massive heat wave, and I mean massive, like one of the worst we've had in the last five years, if not longer. Turtle head? That's what's growing right next to it. It was over 100 degrees for like a week straight. Thankfully where we live it did cool down at night, but it kind of kind of was the end of whatever was left in the garden. I'm telling myself it's okay, because it's the end of the growing season. I think it's hilarious that I sit here and I play these games, and then I'm like, oh wait, I have to go do real life stuff. I have to go take my real garden. <laughs> Let's grow some tea. Yeah. Ooh, wood. Chop it up. Check on my seeds. Seeds, thank you very much. What seeds? No. Strawberry. No, I have those. Marigolds, thank you very much. Tomato seeds. Snowdrops, thank you very much. Syrup. So these weeds you can actually compost, so they're good to have. How my animals? They're all outside in the rain. Oh. Who's this? You better not be fishy again. Did they give you? Yeah, fishy, go fishy. Mm -hmm. I thought I gave you this. Hey, fishy, go fish. Fish you insubordinate. Now I'm gonna witch rage. I'm gonna brew this. This is what you make out of them fishes. And I'm gonna make the tanning solution if I can. See that wool weed at the bottom there? Glad I got some. Okay. So, right now, other than the mystery in town, Right, I have some of those magic eggs. I don't have a ton of things that I'm doing. Oh, what's this? Oh. I just used those flowers in a potion. I was meant to put them in a bouquet. Oh yeah, I need to mend his pants. Check out Marty's ranch. I'm saving that. I can get new animals. Tying the knot? No, I don't want to marry Kai. I'm sorry, he's nice, but... Not while I have a resident werewolf. You heard his voice? I mean, like, Wesley's sexy. And I've got his pants. I just need his damaged trousers, silk thread, and cloth. Gotcha. Oh my gosh, I have to fix his pants. Let me give you. Oh my gosh. Oh darn it, it's 
seven, it's closed. At five, everyone leaves their shops. So even if I went to the world of the Fae, might be hard to find him. Sometimes Wesley comes into town though and he reads on a bench. So I'm just showing you the long way to get to the forest where the coven meets. Ooh, the moonflowers! I can harvest them. And I will show you our coven. So when you first play the game, you don't know who anyone is. Like, everyone's in disguise. But, given that I've already played the main narrative, I know who they all are. Can't make heads or rabbit tails of what started all this. It's like there's a glimmer over any vision I have. That should count as talking to a townsfolk. She's our head priestess. Lena. Novice, herbalist, come closer. Your heroism during the search for Juliet, the rescue of Gloria, and the battle with Vanessa proved something clearly. You are both ready to be promoted beyond novice and herbalist. Violet, stand in the circle. Violet, you will be charged with maintaining the glamour around the stones and making sure the wellspring is protected. Do you accept these responsibilities? I do. Then step out of the circle. Guardian. Now, novice, enter the circle. Terra, you have grown your connection to the Earth this past year. You will now take on the responsibility that was once your grandmother's before you. You shall be in charge of deciding when it is time for our coven to perform our ritual to turn the season. Do you accept this responsibility? Yes. I do. Then step out of the circle. Keeper of the wheel. Keeper of Wait, the wheel. Wait, there's one more. Initiate, enter the circle. You joined us in a moment of great need and showed great bravery in the forest and the battle with Vanessa. You shall now be known as novice. Wow, I don't know what to say. I never wanted to be a witch, but I thank all of you for welcoming me here. Oh, yay! <laughs> well done. That was cool. Begin your training. Hang on, I gotta water my plants. I can't let them die again. I didn't expect that to happen. That was pretty neat. It was also full of spoilers for the main plot of the game. But I warned you at the beginning of this. You still don't need... Oh, they're well watered from yesterday. Alright. Actually, which one of you is the red flower? You. I speed you up. I can instant- this is the instant brew powder that I was talking about. And now I just get them. Ten of them. Whoa. These ones grow to normal speed, but man, now I have to start my training. I guess I'll go talk to her. Are you ready to take on your new responsibility as keeper of the wheel? Um, yes, I think so. You will now be in charge of determining when the seasons change. You will need to That's brew spirit flame each time we turn the wheel. Sure, no prob. And craft the appropriate incantation for the upcoming season. Got it! Make the right offerings to the wellspring so that we have enough magic to perform our ritual. Fair enough. And upgrade your wand to be the one to cast the incantation from the altar. And there it is. I knew it couldn't be that easy. <laughs> when you are ready, come to me to begin the turning of the season. Whoa. A new wand? 
summer ritual incantation. Oh, cause that's the next season. I added a couple carrots to the wellspring to mark the occasion. And if magic had any sense of humor whatsoever, it would have spit out a remedy. Dang. This just started me on a new path. I am going to zip home on my broom. And then I'm gonna see if I can make that bouquet that I was supposed to have made, but then I use those flowers for this one. Wait. Yeah. I can. Mystic bouquet. Alright. Send a letter to Angus. Can I send it here? Let me go to his shop. See if I can send him the letter. Here's his shop. I don't know where he lives. Maybe one of these houses? Here are some words of mucho amor. From Francis, Angus. Okay, I'm glad that was theirs. Oh. Ah, can I just stick other stuff in people's mailboxes? What was that? Truth serum. Return Wesley's trousers to him. Okay. Put her to bed. Am I ready for bed? And in the morning, we're gonna give Wesley his trousers and see how well received it is, and then I'm gonna call it a day. <sighs> wow, she's got even more stuff to harvest. Oh, morning, wow. Thomas. <gasps> morning. I've been thinking about how Hazel always seemed to know to harvest her crops right before the seasons changed. I always thought she just had a nose for it. But now, I think your coven might have something to do with that. Mm, we might. Yeah, I figured. I don't want to know how. Just give me a heads up before you do whatever it is you do. Don't want my crops to wilt because I didn't get them out of the ground in time. I will, Thomas. I promise. Thomas, I haven't talked to you yet. No farmer I know is fond of rabbits. They'll ruin a whole crop one nibble at a time. Still, I wouldn't put bunny ears on my worst enemy. These are strange times, Tara. On his worst enemy? I don't think it's that bad. Pomegranate. <laughs> So that's mm -hmm. Thomas, he's my neighbor. Kitty poo! Come here! He's also a farmer. And I think my best friend. One of my best friends. Alright, let's give this man his pants. There he is! Come here. <sighs> this is a moment. Look, look how low our relationship is, because I hardly ever see him. Your trousers are ready, Wesley. Wow, they look good as new. Farmer, witch, now seamstress. Is there anything you can't do? I can't whistle. Or snap using my middle finger. I have to use my index finger. It's weird. I am the last person to be a judge of weird. Anyway, thanks. Now I'll really feel like me again. As an aside, I also cannot whistle unless I'm sucking in. This is me blowing out. This is me sucking in. <laughs> I lent one of my books to Ariel. And when he gave it back, the spine was all creased. Who does that? Okay, that's a little weird. He's still just a new acquaintance. Can I do something else? To make him like me? Ugh. Ugh, that's annoying. Okay, well, anyway. I guess I'll pause here. And let me make myself a little bigger.
even though I'm not the proper dimensions. So, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that taste of wildflowers and me dipping my toe in the world of, I don't even know what this is called, showing you my video games. Um, I do have more cozy games and I do have more Tolkien based games that I'd be happy to showcase as well. But since this is the one that I'm currently playing, I thought I might as well start there even though I'm not at the beginning of the game. So feel free to let me know what you think and what your preferences are and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you thought that's fun, you should definitely play Wildflowers. It's It's so fun. It's so wholesome and yet deep <laughs> and yet playful it's it's got everything so thank you so much for watching please of course do the youtube thing like and subscribe and leave a comment and share with a friend <laughs> all right thank you so much Bye.